Happy Mother's Day to all of you wonderful mums out there. I thought this was the ideal opportunity to sit back, relax and take a look at some of the amazing mums that I've spotted this year whilst out in nature. Starting with the smallest, but possibly the most charismatic, is the little dotterel. A small endangered shorebird that nests along the sandy dunes in predator-free environments. These 100 gram birds are little firecrackers. It does not take long for these babies to be up and running all over the beach at top speeds, whilst mum and dad have to watch out for any dangers. In fact, they have an incredible way of keeping their offspring safe. They will actually fake an injury, luring any predators or potential threats away from where their offspring are hiding. How amazing is that? Inevitably, after a long day of running around, the little ones are bound to get tired. And what better place to catch 40 winks than right under mother's wings? Often seen in close proximity to the little dotterel is the variable oyster catcher, aptly named for its variety of different looks. These coastal birds are fiercely territorial parents and nest in along the shorelines and surrounding shrubbery. These birds are unlike many of their kind, actively feeding their young. Mum spends a lot of time showing these fluffy bundles just what to eat and how to dig around to find it. Don't mistake this calm demeanour for weakness, however. These birds have no qualms in dive bombing any potential intruders while screeching like a banshee. And having seen it myself, it definitely makes you think twice about which direction you are heading in. Moving inland to the wetland areas, it's only fair to talk about the regal looking swan. <laughs> These majestic beauties bizarrely hatch a grey colour regardless of adult coloration. These fluffy, iconic babies definitely make the most of their parents' protection. Mum spends a lot of time showing them where to get food and watching over them whilst they eat, sleep and preen. Often when young, they get a little tired and run out of beans. And just like human babies, they're quite happy to hitch a ride on their mother's backs. Swans are in it for the long haul too. They rear their young for six to 12 months before as teenagers, they take to the sky to go it alone. Swans in New Zealand don't just have to be aware of predators on land, they have to pay close attention to life beneath the water too. New Zealand's carnivorous eels are an incredible animal that spend 25 to 80 years, depending on species, in the freshwater systems in New Zealand before breeding instinct kicks in. These animals only breed once in their entire lifetime and it's the last thing they do. These mothers in waiting go on a mass spawning migration, leaving the familiarity of lakes and rivers, traveling all the way up to subtropical Pacific oceans near Tonga, where they spawn on mass in deep waters. 17 months later, their offspring then make it all the way back to New Zealand. How amazing is that? From the epic mothers I've seen in nature to the ones in our very own home. I hope you have a wonderful day and realise just how special and important you are. Happy Mother's Day.